So this is your video demonstration on how to create the grid on your paper so it is exactly the same as what's on your photograph. So first thing is count the number of boxes across and down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes across and I have this written here. You can see it. And then vertically, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes because I don't need this lower section based on my plans. So my thumbnail sketches are important because I already know where I want the person to be. I want them to be big and the bottom part is going to be cut off by the bubble. So I wouldn't necessarily have to draw anything in this lower section. So I have, I need a six by seven grid. Now the size of the grid on my paper is determined by how big I want my subject to appear on my actual drawing. So I am going to make the grid big enough so that my subject is big and I have to determine where to place it based on my sketch. So I don't necessarily want my person all the way over to the right. So I'm going to create a space here and then draw my grid from there over. So I want, it looks like right based on my sketch, I want the person to start over inside the left side of the right side of the page. So I'm going to create a space with my ruler. I'm going to mark it. I'm just going to take a guess. I think three inches looks good. So I put three on the edge and mark it at zero and move it down. Remember the rule is measure twice and draw once. So I have two marks, three inches from the edge, and then I create a really light line here. All the lines on your paper need to be very, very light so that they're easily erased or hidden. So from this edge, I'm going to start drawing my grid. I need seven boxes across. So from here, if I measure seven to zero, this is how big my subject would be. And if I think that looks large enough, then I can leave the grid and just create a one inch grid. If I want the image to be bigger, I have to draw bigger squares. So maybe I would draw an inch and a half or uh, two inch boxes. But for the size of my paper, I think one inch could be okay. So I'm gonna go to the top of the line and I'm gonna mark the paper every inch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And then I'm gonna go to a lower section of the paper and do the same thing. So measure twice. And then I'm gonna make my vertical lines and I'm not gonna go top to bottom. I'm just gonna make them somewhat shorter. Cause I know I only need six boxes or six rows in the other direction. So you're only drawing the grid where you need it on your paper. This line could just be a little longer, so I'm going to extend that. And then vertically, I need six rows. So I'm going to measure from the top edge over here. And the zero mark goes on the edge of my paper. I'm going to mark it every inch. Five, six. And then I go to the other side. I'm going to mark zero is on the edge of my paper. And then I mark it every inch just with a little dot. and then I draw my lines going horizontally and I get my grid. So these lines are a little dark, I could go a little lighter, that was probably a bright red. So you want the lines that you draw on your paper to be something you can blend in easily when you shade. So my lines might be a little dark. So these extra lines down here I can erase now if I want to. I'm going to leave them actually. Uh, the next step is to label your grid, both of them, with letters and numbers. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G across the top. And then really lightly on your paper, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then you start numbers right below A. So one, two, three, four, five. And the same thing here, really light. One, two, three, four, five. Now I only have to draw what I want from this grid. Um, I only want the child, so I'm not going to draw all the background textures, but I am right-handed, so I'm gonna start on the left side. So the first thing I would draw would be in this little box, A4. So I would use my viewfinder, cover up everything except for what's in A4, 
and then I would draw an A4 using the same technique we've always used. Find the midpoints, find the midpoints on here, draw your subject, shade it. There you go.